I tried to make money with crypto gaming. I had 15,000 of these $1 notes, which is around 12,000 pound notes. After many hours watching YouTube, drinking many cup of teas, I finally found the game that I was going to go with, and it was Krabada. So what is Krabada? It is a fully decentralized player to earn idle game. So it's pretty simple to play. There's not much gameplay involved, but there's some unique features that we need to know about. So we have the list here, and Krabada say that it is a unique PVP infused gameplay. Breeding, and you have the marketplace, you have lending, you have hiring in the tavern. There's a robust roadmap and game progression. Game incentive and rewards. So let's jump onto the PC, go through the game, and I'll show you some of the gameplay, the marketplace, and let's go through the earnings. I'll tell you about my game plan and if it was successful. So let's jump onto it. So we're here in the mining mode and we are mining our crypto coins and the other team has come to try and steal our coins and we are re reinforcing our team to try and battle them out and win and you can revenge them at the end if you do lose with a chance to reclaim your coins back. So this is pretty much the gameplay at the minute, you can be the miner or you can be the looter. So if you win the mine, this is how much crypto coins you win and if you lose, this is how much you win. Or losing so guys let's just go through a few things that made me choose this game as my big staking to go with player to earn these are a couple of the reasons why i picked Krabada. so i'll put up this tweet here as you can see he said just quit my job 55 hours a week in a concrete factory in australia and booked a one-way ticket to europe to travel for three months because i did so well with Krabada." Honestly, life-changing. Thanks, guys. So, when I seen that, I was like, man, this game must be lucrative to be changing people's lives. What is what is this game all about? You know, like, from the research that I found, they're like, this must be a good game to get into. So, at the time, when I was looking to invest in Krabada, these were the monthly incomes that you could earn. So, if you invested into the tavern and you had three crabs in the tavern, rented out at 15 TUS, you was coming out with 3,628 USD. That's monthly income. You know, imagine earning 3,000 a month just from renting out some crabs. Like, come on guys, that's like next level stuff. That's more than I was like earning on my full-time job, you know. <laughs> so as soon as I seen that, I was like, man, this is crazy. If you had a win rate, of mining of 30% you was earning 4,921 USD like come on if you had a zero loss of all mining and you didn't reinforce at all you was coming out with 4,551 USD a month so you can now see why I decided to invest $15,000 into this game you know it was a big chunk of my savings I just thought, you know, if I can earn a return of investment within three months, what's the rest of the year going to be? It's all going to be profit. And I was like, this is unreal. Like, I could be earning this sort of money just from, rent, you know, renting out crabs or doing some mining. It's like, it doesn't even sound real, does it? Renting out some crabs and you're earning four grand a month. Like, I was just like, yeah, let's go for it. Boom, let's go. So... At the time when I bought my crabs, the price, pure bulks, which at the time were the best crabs, they were like undefeatable in the mine. I bought these for 2,500 TUS. So that was around 6,500 pounds a crab. So at the time, that's all I had. And what I did then was I bred the two together got an egg had to wait five days and after the five days i got a new crab and i had three crabs ready to go into the mines ready to take that 4500 to 5000 a month income so guys with that in mind did my game plan go ahead no it didn't and basically what happened i bought my crabs I put them in the tavern, the two, so they were earning me TUS. Well, I had to wait five days for my crab to hatch. And on the day of hatching, the 16th of February, 
Cribada came out with an update and this update was not good for the bulks. What was the update that was so terrible? Fractional differences. I'll show you the chart and this is the chart so as you can see the primes can take the bulks and every time i went into the mine it was the primes were coming for me they were ready to attack i had a minus seven percent on my points so with that fractional difference i pretty much lost every game i even spent up to 50 tus on reinforcements majority of the time I was still losing so I did a bit of a test and I tried out different methods and different ways and the overall I was losing around 80% of the matches even with reinforcements and then it didn't end there world events happened you know we all know what's going on in the world and the market just crashed the TUS price went from like 30 cents to literally 9 cents at one point it's coming back up it's around 11 cents of making this video today so i ended up going into a loss and you couldn't also make as much money in the tavern anymore i was renting out bulks for about 22 tus every two hours there wasn't getting rented out anymore at that price i am now renting them out at 17.5 tus so i actually did some figures myself and i work i had to work out a new game plan due to this crash you know not only did the tus go down the cra went down the price of bulks went down literally the the crabs went from six thousand dollars for a crab all the way down to about one thousand five hundred dollars a crab so in that time frame I put in $15,000. Crabs were only worth about $4,500. You know, what do you do at this point? You can't just say, oh, I'm going to sell them. You're taking a massive loss. So I had to go back to the drawing board. I got a notepad and pen and worked everything out. So I worked out due to having all bulks and having the fractional difference. It was better for me just to put the crabs into the tavern and rent them out. Every two hours, the crabs get rented out. So at 0.12 TUS, I was going to earn $2,460 and that gave me a return of investment is 6.8 months. So for the long run, I'm in the game. As long as it sticks out at around 0.12 TUS price, I'm still going to be earning around $600 per week and, you know, I could live with that perfectly fine. So fingers crossed, we continue and hopefully the market keeps going up and the price of TUS and C CRA goes up and the the you know the floor price of crabs rises again but for now i am still earning passive income this is my first like you know passive income on my journey to financial freedom hopefully i can continue this journey so i'm going from redundancy to financial freedom I'm investing into all different things. I'm trying all different methods. And, you know, why not have fun while doing it at the same time? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and give you a little insight into player to earn gaming and passive income ideas, possibly. So, guys, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.